I've done several tutorials about electronics and Arduino projects, but I realized that I haven't talked about the tools that you might need, so I thought of showing what's on my toolbox and maybe it gives you ideas on tools that you might want to buy. Let's start with my toolbox that I modified to have these compartments to make the tools more accessible. For years I used this toolbox but I hated how messy it was, having to dig around tools. There are a few tool bags that are nice, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, so I wanted to make my own. Anyway, let's start with my safety glasses. Below that I have some latex gloves. Some pliers from Viha, which is a good brand. Looking pliers from Kinepex. By the way, I'll put links on the description if you want to buy any of these tools. Utility knife, nothing special about that. Flux pen for soldering. Good quality scissors. And soft tape measure. I always buy the ones that have metric and inches, so it's more useful. Needle nose pliers which came as a set with the other two. Super glue accelerator that helps curing super glue quickly. Cobra pliers, again from Kinepix. An excellent tool to have. A basic scraping tool. Now this is a great soldering iron. It's rechargeable and heats up in a few seconds. I have it over a wire support so the hot tip doesn't touch the bottom of the toolbox. It's not as powerful as a proper soldering iron, but most of the time it's enough so now I use it more than my soldering station. A uh, chip multimeter, nothing special but does the job. Heat shrink tubing for two sizes. Now this is a must have, it's a self adjusting wire stripper. There are many types but no matter what you choose, you need one. Ideally from a good brand. It greatly improved my workflow. The bearing tool that I use to cut edges, which is much better than using a knife for those situations. Some needle files with different shapes. Also pick tools. And zip ties. Over here we have small Torx screwdrivers. This one is interesting. It's a knife that fits the finger to cut stuff into a flat surface. Soldering wire. I took a cheap case and put good quality wire on it. It's important to have good quality soldering wire. A small level. Low profile screwdriver. Use the standard quarter inch bits that I keep in here. Plastic pry tool. Small tweezers with different tips. Scratch brush that I use to clean PCBs. I have another one that is more rough and it can remove the solder mask from PCBs. A compass to draw circles. Pencil. Pen. Sharpies of different colors and an exacto knife. Small flathead screwdrivers on this side and Phillips on the other side. Paint can opener. Super glue that I use all the time. Allen keys with inches and metric. Flashlight with a rechargeable battery. Small flush cutter, essential for many things. 
a lighter mostly used for heat shrink tubing chip extractor that i use mostly to take arduino nanos from breadboards a scraper with plastic blades a wire stripper for very thin wires the self-adjusting wire stripper is not very good with small wires so i use this one for those cases very thin little nose pliers without grooves so it doesn't damage the part that i'm holding and another small needle nose pliers with a more traditional design on this side i have a tray that i 3 d printed to hold my caliper tape measure two types of electrical tapes small scissors and some small parts under that i have a small microscope that i use mostly to see the part number of small components This is to test outlets, desoldering wick from a good brand, an eraser, some spare blades, stubby screwdriver for quarter inch bits. He also stores some bits in here. Some basic screwdrivers, magnetic pickup tool, a brush, long tweezers, a very rough file, and a metal brush. I love this one, it can cut anything. It's expensive, but the cheap ones don't last long, so it's a good investment. A cutter from the set I mentioned. And a creeping tool for small connectors. Finally, on this side, I have a ruler. It stays there with two magnets. And some tape supported by another 3D printed part. Having my most used tools handy like this has really improved my workflow. Now I use my old toolbox for bigger things that I don't use much. If you're interested in buying some of these tools or even the toolbox to create something similar, the links are in the description. I would like to thank my patrons, especially Stefan and the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. If you need to order a custom PCB, check them out. I hope you find it useful and see you on the next video. Bye bye.